All my videos is, you know, basically about what the masculine got going on. Most of them are not about for the masculine to get some education on what's going on with these films, some education. So I'm like, let me help these masculines out because I feel like this is for people who are masculines who are specifically in separation from their true film. I'm not talking about your karmic, okay? I'm talking about with your true film here. Um, if you don't know who that is, uh, Spirit is telling me it's the person that's been on your mind the most lately, okay? In a good way, okay? You're missing this person. This person has walked away from you. This person has completely cut you off, okay? They blocked all communication from you, okay? And Spirit says, if you want to know if that's your true film or not, are you, if as a masculine, you're confused of as a you know, who is your true feminine here? Um, Cause you have, I'm getting, you have more than one, you're probably in contact with more than one empress. So I can't really say empress energy because all empresses, all empress carry that energy here. Um, it's about, is that your empress or not, okay? So spirit wants you to go within and meditate. They also have been sending messages and dream activity so pay attention to your dreams, masculines, okay? They're trying to also reveal some things to you as well about your karmic. I don't know what that's pertaining to. I'm just the messenger. Um, and also, thank you guys for the comments. I, I wasn't able to see them when I just, like, click on the video itself. But I've been seeing your comments, guys, and I've been responding to them. And thank y'all for interacting with me. I'm sending you guys all love and light for um, you dealing with your your DM, if y'all in separation and going things like that, okay? And I, and you guys are, films are in the energy of healing. So, you know, when things don't hurt as much, that means you heal it, that's growth, right? That's a lesson you, you were supposed to learn. It's a, a cycle you guys are going through. It's a lesson behind it and you're learning it. So good for you. So I wanted to, uh, give masculine some little direction here because I feel like that masculine you are confused as to what your film wants from you. You don't know if your film is really done. You don't know if like because I feel like it's a lot of back and forth activity between you guys. It's like a lot of in and out here, and I think majority of the in and out is, is you. Like you were initially static at the beginning. I don't know if that's the word, like, well, you was a little nighty, okay? In and out with the, um, in this connection or whatever. And, ooh, speech work. I'm getting so much downloads, it's overwhelming. Hold on, y'all, let me take calm my energy down. Okay, you, it was a lot of in and out going on here. And, um, so your film has walked away from you and um, cut you off. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what they want. You don't know what they know that caused you to, uh, to for them to walk away. But I don't think it's really about uh, what do they know. I think I, 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 when I was pre-shuffling, I saw surrender. So this in heart-to-heart -heart conversation, this your film, your true film wants you to surrender. Surrender to the divine, surrender to this partnership, surrender to the karma you're receiving, okay? You're going through karma right now, and things are just a hot mess in your life. Your money funny, your kids acting up, your dog, your, your cat, your, 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 your family, you know what I'm saying? Um, friends, everything is just haywire. Your money funny, what else did I say that already? Yeah. Car acting up, house needs repairs here, you know. It's a lot of stuff going on in your life, and if you notice the shift change when this person, that's another thing, how you're going to know this person is your true divine thing. When this person walked away from you and pulled back, your life started to feel like you got out of control here. There was no light. You just feel like you're surrounded by so much darkness here that, you know, um, you feel like it's unescapable here. So I, I just want to give you guys a little 
you know, encourage me because I feel like, yes, my channel is called the Divine Femme Tribe, but, you know, I have some masculines who subscribed as well. Okay, so not many, but you know what I'm saying, but it is what it is. I'm going to show love to everybody because if you come across this video, this is for you. If you're wondering, if you're watching tarot, you want to know what's going on anyway, right? We don't watch tarot well. Let me say, not say we, but most of us don't watch tarot to... Uh, for entertainment purposes. I do, though. I love watching it, but I'm saying majority of us fight, stumble upon tarot when we want some answers, right? Because energy don't lie. People do. So, um, so I just want to go ahead and help you guys out a little bit. We're already about six minutes in, so let me go ahead and get started because I don't want to keep this up just going too long, okay? I want to make it clear and easy for you to understand here, okay? So, my spirit guides and sisters of the highest white light only ask that you give me the answers that these masculines are looking for here. They want to know, I'm getting what's going on with their feminine energy. What do they really want from them? Do they really want this connection? Or are they done, 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 done that up, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and tap in real quick. All right, tap, tap, tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. Okay. All right. What's going on? All right. So, yeah. We got the overall energy of these films, masculines. They're healing from the heartbreak you have caused them here. They want, you know, I feel like you. they want an apology, okay? They want you to own your shit, okay? They, they feel like you just, okay, like you do what you do. You gaslight them, okay? You act like they don't have a reason to be hurt, that you never done anything wrong. You never take accountability. You just show up back in their life when you're ready and pick them up. And then when you're done, you set them back on the shelf and you keep it moving. Um, your feminine is tired of you just in and out here. They just tired of it. And they're in, a, they're in the energy of healing here. Now, I know you won't know about if it's somebody, is there seeing someone have they moved on yet? We're going to keep, we're going to, seriously, we're going to get to that part. But yeah, they're healing here, okay? They're focusing on self. They're focusing on their bag. Some of them have, a lot of them have spiritual gifts. They are tapping into those. Those are heightening right now. So yeah, they're in the overall energy of healing, okay? What else, Spirit? As to the highest white light. What else is these divine mass, I mean, feminines? Um, doing in separation from their uh, mask, and what do they? These masks can have questions. Give us the answer, spirit. Okay. Wait, hold on. That is just way too much. Come on. Y'all have a lot of questions, mask. Okay, I'm gonna take it, please. All right. So let's 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 do this. Yeah, they walked away here. Okay. Also, they feel like you left them out in the cold. You left them high and dry. They feel like. You just, like I said, come in and out, just in and out. They're tired of it. Yeah, you never offer them their ten of cups here, a, a stable, full relationship here. They felt like you didn't give them what they needed. And they and they was trying to give you everything that they needed. They felt like it was very unbalanced here. Yeah, and they're in a the temperance energy here. They're trying to maintain some type of balance here. Also trying to maintain some balance with you because energetically y'all are connected. And... um. They feel like you get them off balance, uh, energetically wise, masculine, because they can pick up, you know, you like I said, uh, you may be going through some cycle of karma here, uh, and they can feel it, okay? They can feel it energetically wise, and also, um, they want you to get your energy together, because they're tired of it, okay? Yeah, um, we got the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of swords here in the upright. So they also they're very they're hurt. They they it keeps them up at night, it keeps them in their head. They just don't know what to do with this. They don't know what to do with this connection, what to do with you. They just feel like masculine, like you're just too unpredictable here. They don't never know what you want because they feel like you don't communicate what it is that you want. This is the um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I gotta count because I don't know Roman numerals. I can't remember them. Eight of um wands in the reverse. They feel like you don't take no action or you don't express your real feelings. So they really don't know what it is you want. It's like they feel like you're really guarded, like with everything that you do here, even with these other energies that you're involved with, they feel like you never tell them the truth here. 
the truth is not in you, they feel like. They cannot get the answers from you, so they go to other sources for answers like spirit, okay? They don't feel like you really want them. They feel like they feel like you don't value them as a person. You don't value them as a um, empress. You don't value them at all. You don't see them for their true, who, how, how truly beautiful they are and their energy here. They, they just feel like you, it goes unnoticed, okay? <clears throat> Throat chakra, hold on, guys. They also want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. There's a lot of things left unsaid here. They would like to truly be transparent with you. And some of them has been transparent. With, some of these films has been transparent with their masculines in the past here. And they just felt like it went like right over your head. You didn't receive the messages. And they was like, maybe it was they was working on how they delivered the message. Because maybe it was coming from a place with so much emotion. Because your film has so much deep emotion for you. And that's how it's supposed to be. They genuinely love you unconditionally here and that's the thing they say you know no matter what you have done you know how bad you think it is but you need to release that and you know own your truth here and own your shit you know what i mean they also saying um you know they you know you may feel like you guys had more um bad times than good but this fifth is saying she enjoyed this journey with you and she wouldn't want to trade it with any other any other she wouldn't trade it for anything else okay she really learned a lot from this connection here even if you guys do not reconcile here she says that she does not regret you know or he take it as a resonate but i say she um she does not regret loving you she does not regret meeting you she does not regret um, this journey here or anything that has happened between you because ultimately this ended in them growing here. They they, they learned things about themselves that they didn't uh, maybe were not as transparent here. You know what I'm saying? And also they hope you don't regret them. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you guys caused some terror moments in each other's lives but that was the ultimate goal to get you guys closer to source, closer to spirit, closer to God here, okay? Or whatever entity that you believe in here. Okay, so also, this film is really healing because they feel like you, ten of swords, they ass, you stabbed them in the back ten times, okay? They kept giving you chance after chance after chance after chance to prove to them that you were serious about them. And they feel like every time they gave you the opportunity after they came back to you here or you came back to them, it was always the same outcome that it ended in you guys separating or you guys going on a break or you guys not communicating. And then one day, boom, the universe just, you know, you guys collide because there's an energetic pool pulling you guys together here. So you guys gonna eventually collide, okay? And then it's, it's the same cycles here. It was the same thing over and over again, all right? What else, spirit guys? As for the highest part, right? Yeah, the chariot. They want to move forward here, okay? Some of them want to move forward with you, and some of them um, do not, okay? But I'm getting majority of the films want their masculine, okay? They want this love, yeah, because you make them happy. The sun is underneath the bottom of the deck. They want to be happy with you. They want to grow with you. They want to continue on this spiritual journey with you. So I'm getting like twin flame energy here. Yeah, they want to balance. They want you guys to balance each other out. You know, and that's what they feel really, um, they feel um, unbalanced without you in their life. And they feel like you are reflect, that's, you guys are marrying each other. So they feel like this film, these films feel like you guys are unbalanced as well. So they want to come back together and move forward and grow together here. The Chariot, Oscar Me, you guys, they might want to travel with you guys, take some time away and guys just focus on there because there's so much outside interference in, in you guys' partnership and connection that they feel like, these films feel like the only way that you guys can make some sort of progress or move forward if you guys do decide to reconcile is to remove yourself, you know, retreat from the world here, step back, you know what I'm saying, and focus on just you and you and them and don't have any interference, any unwanted opinions or any unwanted hate or any type of interference in you guys' uh, 
growth here moving forward, the chariot, okay? Cause, but yeah, they say you ultimately make them happy here, okay? You do make your fam happy. If you was wondering about, do you make this person happy? You give them the sun. That's the, that's the best part in tarot. Also, is abundance, health, wealth, and love. They want all of that with you. All right. But yeah, they feel like they were giving too much and you weren't giving it. You, they were giving too much and you weren't giving enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, six of pentacles here. They also felt like you were giving to more to the other situation with this queen of wands, which is a karmic. You offer them everything. You offer this queen of wands, your karmic, everything that you should have offered to your family. That's how they feel. They feel like. You gave somebody else everything that they deserve. It was rightfully theirs, okay? They own this here. But this was not page of wands in reverse. This was not communicated here. This was um, intuitively, intuitive, intuitively uh, given to their film here. Yeah, and that you are moving forward with this... Um, with this queen of wands here she was your wish fulfillment here okay or he switched the energy as it resonates um but yeah if you are a masculine energy this is for you this is what your film is it's got going on because you don't want you want to know what's going on so this is how they're feeling and this is what's not being said okay so yeah they just feel like you were gaslighting them you were bread coming in here and they was like we don't want crumbs we want the whole loaf like if you can't give us the whole loaf then um, you're not the masculine for me, okay? Um, they saw the greatness in you here. This, your film, did, okay, because you are, you're seeing like, you want to know how this person be you and how this person can always love you no matter all the shit you have done to them. Your, your feminine masculine still loves you, okay? And you're, you're trying to see how can this person love me? You know, you're feeling, your confidence is shot from this Queen of Wands. I don't know what happened in this um, connection with this karmic. But, you know, she's this this karmic uh, wanted to demasculate you here. And I feel like she kind of did here. And to make you feel like you are less than or you are not good enough here. But your film never gave you that energy. She always... You know, made you feel good about yourself. She made she 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 uplifted you. She encouraged you here. She and she was trying to be there for you as you went through these changes in your life. She was a big a, um, support to you here. She was um, very encouraging here. Okay, she was always available to you when you needed. You felt like she was always will be available, and I think that was the problem here. The film felt like she made herself over available to you here, and that you didn't value that having her in your corner okay as your teammate as your cheerleader here she was cheering you on and she still is from afar she's sending you love and light as we speak okay she is praying for you okay she's visiting you in the 5d okay in her mind you guys are not in separation because y'all are in union in 5d because 3d is what guys it's ultimately just an illusion right it's the truth okay so she's feel like she's able to move forward and be happy it's not that she doesn't care about you and she has like completely just disregarded you as a human being or as an energy here she is in the light of you guys are in union in the 5d so she's okay with that okay and that's how she's able to move forward and to have that genuine happiness here because you are definitely watching your film because you want to know what's going on here and now you're on tarot to find the answers you came across this video i'm glad you did because this is going to give you uh, i hope i i hope i give you a little peace of mind here yeah but yeah she just felt like you were giving this energy everything that you should have given her okay she felt like she felt robbed okay she felt robbed of her happiness she felt robbed of her masculine she felt like you was hers and um she was yours okay she still feels that way okay but she's not going to put herself in this um in these situations where she feel like she is just going to be a whole bunch of drama because this these feminines does not have drama in their life. They're at peace. They're healing. They're grown. Okay. They they are they are very, they, the energy is so light here, so peaceful. Okay. So they're they want to keep maintain their peace here, and they feel like if they if they come to you now, it's just gonna be um, chaotic. They want you to come towards them. 
okay? Because when you come towards them, all of this, this queen of wands and all of this should be, this should be done. You should, you should be walking away from this, okay? Because it will, it will, it will no longer serve you. And you already know that, okay? You know, whoever this queen of wands is that you're dealing with, okay? Is, this energy is not for you. This energy is very evil, okay? And you know that. So that's why you want to, put, and you're starting to see it because the mask is coming off with this person. This person probably was fulfilling you at first, you know, when things were new and it was exciting and it was fun, okay? And and now you're starting to see this, this queen of wands, this karmic, for exactly who they are and trust and believe it when people show you the first time, okay? Spirit is telling me to tell you. Okay, all right, so what else is going on, Spirit? Whoa, yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. Here's another karmic, okay? So you may have a wife, a baby mama, or um, I hope you guys are not married, but some of these masculines are, I've been seeing that. Yeah, and it's just not fulfilling for you. Okay, so there's a they just feel like it's a lot of people involved. They feel like you still haven't um cut off these people from your past. This is they felt like you have met someone new in our or someone from your past has returned. Check it as a resident and you're moving forward with them. But then they feel like it's a baby mama energy or could be an ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife, that is always gonna be in the picture. And they don't want you guys um connection to be interfered with by these people they feel like you are still being intimate with these people you are still their connection is not over and done it's not strictly about the kids here they feel like it's something deeper than that here okay oh it's another one they feel like you have a lot of women in your life that you are currently energetically connected to okay your film just don't know what to believe here you know what i'm saying they feel like you out there soaring your royal oats yeah, they feel like the tower's in reverse. There has not, things have not ended here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you're still making offers to other people here. You're still offering your love, your time, your your energy to these people who's sucking up your energy. And your film also ultimately wants to protect you here because, you know, they don't, they feel like you guys, it's like, I don't know, they just feel like, that's my masculine. You're not gonna do that to my masculine. So they really are very protective over you. Um, two, two, two on there. Yeah, they're really balanced. That's balanced too. They're really protective over you, okay? And they want the best for you, even if it does not involve them, okay? So they feel some type of way. Yeah, judgment in reverse here. They feel like didn't I say they want you to surrender? This, look at them people there. Surrender to the divine. They want you to surrender to what spirit has been saying to you. Surrender to the guidance that spirit has been giving to you. Surrender to this connection. Surrender to the love. Surrender to them. Allow them to love you how they want you, how they want to, the, how, they allow them to love you how they want to love you here. They want to give you that genuine love that these karmics is not giving you here because this queen of pentacles is governed by money. This queen of wands is very sexual could be also governed by money. These people is out here to, to destroy you. Some of them are coming to return return to your life to destroy you because energetically they feel you starting to come towards your film. It's a gravitational pull, as I said, and you guys going to collide here. So they feel it energetically that you're pulling away and that's when they seek their teeth into you, okay, masculine? So they just want you to be aware of the women that you're dealing with the energy, you know, and trust your intuition and trust your gut when dealing with these energies here, okay? They want you to surrender to the divine, to do the work here. They also want you to do the work. They want you to grow. They want you to heal. Okay? Yeah. Um, nine of cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of cups in the reverse. They just feel like, you know, you wasn't offering their love and you was not allowing it, them to love you. You was very guarded with them. You didn't tell them, you know, how you truly felt here. And they just felt like it was because, you know, some of them feel like, you know, you didn't feel like you had that intimate bond with them. And they they were the opposite. They felt very comfortable with being the authentic self, telling you things. They were very open with you about their emotions and how they felt. Okay, some of them have even talked to you on multiple occasions in different type of form of communicating. Some of them have written stuff to you, text messages, you know, have done 
telephone calls, you know, even in person, they voiced their, their emotions for you. And then they just felt like you were not receiving it. You were very guarded here. Okay. And they couldn't get through this wall or this barrier you have put up. And they felt like here comes this queen of wands here and you give them, you open up to this energy. Yeah. You, you, you allow yourself to be vulnerable with, with this person, but you wasn't giving that to them. So they also feel like they was also robbed of this connection here. Okay. They didn't really fully experience the potential of this partnership because it never really made it to, you know, the next level. It was very much stuck and stagnant here. Okay. It was highs and lows here, constantly up and down emotions. And it just was not fulfilling. Yeah. King of Swords, they felt like you were very cold. I, you guarded. There we go. They, they felt like you were guarded here. I can't make it up. You were con also, you was kind of mean to them also with your words or your actions here. It was very cold. They was starting to question like if they really knew who you were, masculine, because the, the the way you were coming off to them was very cold and guarded and just with going through life with your hands up like you're ready to fight. Very dispensive here. You was on the defense with your film. You always felt like you not always, but you probably feel like sometimes that your film was doing things to deliberately hurt you. You felt like their film was going to hurt you here, but that was never their intentions. Their intentions was to love you, and they never wanted to see you hurt, and they don't want anybody to hurt you. And that's, again, when that protective thing come, come in, because they're, as I said, you guys are marrying each other. Energetically, you can feel each other, and they are very protective of you. They don't want anybody to... Um, uh, come through and you know destroy you okay they all they want you to learn the lessons that spirit wants you to learn as you go through your cycle of karma here that's not what they're saying they don't want to stop your karma because they have no control over that and ultimately they feel like you know karma is good rather good or bad because it teaches you lessons and it causes you to grow and i think that's what the point is they want you to grow they want you to surrender they want you to stop fighting against it because they feel like you are a gifted individual and the world needs your gifts. They want you to come into the light instead of running from it, okay? They don't want you to get stuck and comfortable to where you're currently at. They want you to come out of this. And I know I, I, I'm feeling like you have a lot of emotions going on. You're depressed, you're down, you, you feel discouraged, but your, your film still has your back if they're not with you in the physical here. They're with you energetically and they want you to know they have your back regardless. You can always come to them, okay? All right? It may... I feel like they want you to come to them, but you want them to come to you. But but that's not how spirit set this up because this film was always doing the work here. So it has to balance out for that chariot to have that equal give and take and for things, the energy to move flow in a way that it needs to flow you have to come towards your film but you gotta come back changed okay you gotta learn these lessons you gotta clean this up you gotta you gotta have some tire moments here you gotta put some endings on some things okay all right some permanent endings too okay what else we answer the highest one right yeah the food here they want you to take a leap of faith and to come towards them yeah they want you to yeah, they want you to take the empress. They want you to come towards them, okay? They want you to take this deep of faith on them. They want you to show them that you are serious about them, that you really want them. Because at this point, they don't think you want them. They don't think you see them. Look at them. Look at they. they that's the sun here. Yeah, they want you to take this deep of faith. They want you to, you know, to offer your love here. This man is holding look like a rose here. They want you to come towards them, okay? They want you to jump off that cliff and... They're going to be there to catch you when you fall, okay? They got you. They they're, they want you to take a leap of faith, period. They want you to come towards them, all right? Even though the energy might say that they don't really want to talk to you, they won't. They, they probably even told you they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to do what you did on. They done. They done done. This is done data, okay? Period. 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 Poo. But that's not what their energy is saying. Remember I say people like energy don't. They want you to take a leap of faith here. Do the work. They want you to do the work and come towards them. So spirit can be, their ancestors and spirit guides can be pleased with you to, so they can also be for this connection. Because let me tell you something. When spirit and God don't agree with the current energy that you're in or what you got going on in your life, they're going to block it from they from they from their loved ones and from for people they care about because they don't want they don't agree with the relationship here they don't feel like it's good for them so they want you to show their ancestors and spirit guys you can do the work and you can change and you're willing to do that for them 
okay? And not only for them, but for yourself. Because they want you to put yourself first and love to love you in a way you deserve to be loved. And then it will be reciprocated here, okay? Because they love you. They see the greatness in you. They are just, they were so, they put you on a pedestal here. Yeah, they want to move forward with you. Like three of wands, they do not want to walk away from you. This is, they want to, I feel like this room is this is starting to resonate with you. This person wants you back, okay? They want you to move forward, to let all of these other energies go here. They want you to offer them their love. They want you to be vulnerable with them. They want you to be transparent here. Yeah, King of Cups, because they don't feel like you will offer them love here. They feel like you're holding back. They want you to come out of that energy here and come towards them and love on them, okay? They just want love. That's all they want. They don't care about nothing else. They don't care about your financial situation. They don't care about your legal troubles or whatever else you're going through. They ultimately... Oh, Our Story to Tell by Jasmine Sullivan. That's a beautiful song. Yeah. Also, they feel like they're also in constant, constant conflict with you. It's like they're fighting against you instead of alongside you against the world here. They feel like it's you and the world versus them. Like, they feel like they're the only one fighting for this connection. They want you to fight for this, okay? They want you to show that you're going to make an effort to not only get the come back to this film and, 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 um, work on this partnership together but also work on self constantly growing and learning and elevating yourself here okay all right what else we got to answer the highest part, right yeah they just feel like you're unfulfilled you don't see them as wish fulfillment and i don't think that's the truth i don't know what it is that yeah queen of cups in reverse they don't feel like you're going to take their love, okay? They feel like you don't want their love. You don't feel like their love is worthy or something. It's something about worth here. Yeah, they feel like you watched them walk away when you should you should have fought for them. What is this? Four swords here. You watch somebody else come in and destroy this partnership. You let others opinions, thoughts, and views of them destroy this partnership. You're, they want you to come out that egotistical um uh vibe here okay yeah knight of cups they feel like you're not offering no love here and that's what they want they want your love that's all they want from you here they don't want your money they don't want nothing else they want your love they want to love on you and you to love them okay now that's genuine they don't want nothing that's how you know when you truly yeah they just they feel like ooh they feel like you got a lot of lies and secrets you need to come tell your speak your truth then I tell that they want to know what the fuck was going on. They want you to come out this darkness here. The hangman, yeah, they want you to stop weighing options here. You know what I'm saying? Stop carrying these burdens. You're carrying too many burdens. They want you to release these burdens. Yeah, they want you to stop listening to your friends and family about this connection, okay? Didn't I say that? There's so many lot of unwanted opinions. They feel like it was you and them. You and them versus them your film okay versus her okay they feel like also you party too much you go out too much she wants you to uh spend more time with her you know have more intimacy here okay ace of cups yeah they feel like you are not going to offer that big that 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 big old heart of yours because they say you are a lover they see you as them they, they you guys are lovers you guys are nurturers you guys do stuff for people you are very caring you help others you know what i'm saying you have that humanitarian in you and they see that they see that you can you are a gift to the world and they just want you to share it not only with the world but with them okay they see you as a blessing obviously and they want you to see them as the same thing because they know they are the true empress they are divinely chosen here okay what else, spirit? And they know you are too. They want you to come in your power, act in your emperor power. You know what I'm saying? Over these karmics, knight of wands, they feel like you're not going to stop being intimate with others. You're going to constantly be um, using that, overusing that wand on your man part or lady part. Take it as a resonate. They feel like you're going to be real worldly. And this is what keeps you stagnant because you know you are kind of governed by your lust here. And they want you to come out of that energy. Yep. They want you to stop that. And they want you to come 
in your emperor status, status here. They want you to come towards them as this emperor and the upright on your throne, baby. You gonna have to step off that throne to go get your film though, but you could uh you could get right back to it though, okay? All right, anything else for your exercise for life? Yeah, they feel like you didn't you didn't put no work here. They want you to put some work into this connection here. They don't want it. They feel like they're working against you. They want to work in, with you in this partnership here. They want to, you know, work on you guys' burdens and release your burdens. Whatever's hindering your relationship, they want you guys to work on it together. Yeah, the death in reverse here. They want a rebirth. That's rebirth here. It ended, but it's not permanently over. Nope, it's not over. Yeah, Page of Cups, they want your love. And some of them are waiting and some of them not. But the thing is this, you don't, the Wheel of Fortune's in the upright. That's divine timing. In divine timing, this will come together when you do the work. If you're missing your film and you want your film, just do the work. Heal. Release all these other energies. Release all these addictions and all these lies and secrets. Own your true fear. Actually go within in hermit mode and start to uh, love on you and send love out to the universe. Focus on you first and then come towards your film, okay? That's what spirit wants you to do. The ultimate goal was self-love, to love you and to send love out to the universe. And once you start doing that and you're healing, you can come towards your film, have that heart to heart conversation on your truth, and then you guys can move forward, whether they want to move forward with you or not after they find out your truth. But I feel like most of them are highly intuitive. Empresses are highly intuitive. They already know masculine. They just want to hear it from the horse's mouth, okay? What else, spirit? Anything else? Page of Cup, they want your love. They want it. They want a rebirth here. They want a new beginning. They want a new beginning. They want that brand new beginning they've been seeing and hearing about. Yeah, they want justice here. They want you to speak your truth. Four of Wands, they want marriage with you. They see you as something they can do for be with for the rest of their life. They see as, this partnership as something they want to be in for the rest of their life. They see this, you as marriage material here and hope you see them as the same. Yeah, but they feel like you're going to abandon them again. You're going to abandon this partnership. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to also walk away from it if you're not willing to do the work. They're going to walk away eventually. They're not going to wait on you. And, you know, they feel like, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of cups. Yeah, they feel like you're not going to offer this love that they want and they need to balance out this partnership. They're going to move forward, okay? With or without you. But they're going forward, all right? Yeah. They feel like you're stuck. And they don't want them to be stuck. Yeah, they want to move forward. And they feel like you're stuck and blinded here. They want you to free yourself. Didn't I say surrender? Yeah, from these relationships. The lovers in reverse. These, these, these karmics you're dealing with. Yeah, because they feel like it's a lot of sneakiness going on towards you. Didn't I say they come there very defensive here? They already know what's going on energetically wise. And they also have the intuitive, and they've been watching tarot and getting downloads and messages from, personally from the divine here. Yeah, it's nine of pentacles. They feel like you're offering your love to someone else. You're making an offer to someone else here. And that's why why you are stuck because you're doing too much. You're doing way too much, I heard. You're doing way too fucking much. Yeah, will of fortune. Time waits on no one, they said. They want you to either make the decision. They said they're not waiting their whole life. They want to close out some cycles here. They're closing out cycles because they want new beginnings, okay? Whether it be with you or with another masculine here, okay? They want another another um, uh, emperor. They um, want to move forward. Yeah, they don't like, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of wands in reverse. They just feel like, you know, you may have given up here. They feel like you have given up. Okay, because you're dealing with so much, they feel like you are giving up or you don't have time for this connection here. What else? Anything else? Yeah, the magician here. They want you to manifest them. They want you to stand in your power. They want you to get that balance and release all this shit that don't serve you here. Yeah. They want some truth. Truth and clarity. Two of swords. 
Because the moon is a lot of lies and secrets that's on my table a lot. They want you to tell the truth. They want you to tell the truth. Some of them has got personal tarot readings, so they know the truth on you, masculine. They know the truth. They just want you to tell it. King of Pentacles here. And King of Wands. These are two masculine energies. Oh. So some they feel like you're very materialistic and very lustful. Yeah, you're overusing the wands again. And they feel like you are. They want some truth about you, some money. Could be. Also, if you're in a marriage, they want the truth about this marriage, this, this last relationship you had, the people you were dealing with here. They feel like you overuse your wand. Yeah, this empress. They like you overuse this wand. All right. Yep. And they feel like you walked away from them. They want you to return. Because they want to be happy. They're very unhappy without you. Yeah, they feeling very lonely right now. Um, five of Cups in reverse. They feeling very lonely. It's, they may be in solitude here. Hermit mode. Yeah. The sun in reverse. They're not really happy without you. Yeah, Ace of Swords, but they're not taking no action. Yeah, they taking a rest. They're going to let you come towards them. Yeah, they are in that high, high priest energy, so they're intuitively being guided here. Knight of Swords in reverse. They're not moving very fast. Mm -mm. Yeah. So we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse here. They're doing a lot of reminiscing of what could be. They was like, yeah, we could have had all of this, but this is what I'm left with. Yeah, they're reminiscing. All right. So that's what's going on. They're not in, you know, so the answer to you, have they moved on? Majority of them have not. They have options here, though, but they're not really focused on that right now. They're focused on their healing, okay? And... And trying to get themselves together spiritually and um, spiritually and um, energetically wise. So they're not really focused on that right now. But they do want to be had to start the heart conversation. With you. That is true. They do. Yeah, chemistry. Let your friends help you. I don't think they want you to take your friends. Um, advice but you might have to have um some help from your friends to get in contact with your film here okay they might have to uh set some some stuff up okay i'm about to say set some shit up yeah unrequited love and reverse faithfulness they don't want any un unrequited love they want to heal their inner child with you bring out that inner child with you okay yeah playfulness there's a lot of attraction there here they are they are attracted to you. All right, sweet. I see some high spot. Like, give me some more messages from to the divine master from the film. What do they want to do? What's going on? Yeah, the romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They want you to, you know, explore your their your feelings with them. They want you to show them what you feel about them. Yeah, they want to reconcile. Look, they want to reconcile. Yeah, not. I can't make it up. They want you back. What else, spirit? But they want you to surrender, though. Don't come back the same way you left. They want you to come back different. They want a new beginning. Look, they want you to release them exes, them baby mamas, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. They want you to forgive yourself and learn here, okay? Thank you, spirit. Learn the lessons that the divine um, wanted you to know here. Yeah, healing family issues. They feel like you have some um, uh, mommy or daddy issues here you need to. Um, they feel like you have both. Some childhood trauma here you need to heal. Also, heal your connection with your family here. So that's good. And stop the over-involvement of your family in your life. They want you to create them boundaries. Yeah, because there's some codependency here. Yeah. All right, addictions are affecting your romance's life. It's some co uh, codependency here they want you to work on. Your addictions, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in relationship. They want you to take this mask off, okay? And spirit is, is that's what the ultimate goal. Spirit also wants you to take that mask off. Because, and very soon, clearly decide is what you want so it comes to you. Now, they want to know, do you want this or not? 
make a decision because they're trying to move on to bigger and better things if you don't and not necessarily say there's something better out there for them but like because just thinking about all of the bad things you have done there's someone that they're going to meet that's not going to guess like them not going to uh make them feel like they're unworthy they're going to shower them from the love from the beginning all the way to end okay playfulness they want to be playful with you recapture the moments allow your inner youth and spirit of fun to shine and want to have fun with you here all right anything else spirit Finances and career, financial issues are affecting your love life right now. Yeah, they feel like that you guys can work things out here. They don't want you to that to stop you from coming forward. Your financial issues, if you are having that, okay. They want you to know that they are a team player and they're willing to, you know, work with you on this. Yeah, engagement. Your your love life is ascending to a higher level. Commitment. They want to. They want you to um, offer them a high level of commitment here. And they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. Think positive. Faith will bring you romance. They want you to stay positive about this connection. No negative thoughts because your thoughts govern your outcome here. So they want you to stay positive and optimistic that this will come, you know, full circle. Yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable. They want you to know you deserve love and they love you. Okay, yeah, there, there go again. Look at her with that bone arrow. Didn't I say she's protecting you here? You feel the need to protect you from these energies. Yeah, they want you to let go of the control issues here. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Again, remember to that divine. What that spirit? a lot of energy around you oh unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going they want you to not give them no they feel like this love the first time was so unrequited they don't want that the second time they don't want that okay also they want you to see that you know these people you're dealing with that love is unrequited okay also, they want you to flirt, extend your light heartedness energy to others. They want to flirt with you. They want to be playful, okay? Anything else? Yeah, you're dealing with a soulmate, past life relationship. They want you to keep an open mind, religious factors. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, I feel that religious factors that affect your, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path here. They want you to surrender to the divine here. And also, if they don't want um, their religion or anything like that affect this partnership, you know what I'm saying? They don't feel like, they feel like that's so 3D. That's just an illusion here. Religion is just an illusion. And it's, it's, it's to create a separation here instead of a unity. So it's, it's, it's pointless. It shouldn't affect you guys. Um, um, uh, relationship or connection here. But they want you to do the work here. That's not what they're saying. They don't want you to be religious. There's nothing wrong with being religious because I feel like these films are more spiritual than religious. There's nothing wrong with that, but they just don't want that to be the reason why you don't come towards them, okay? Because she... Yeah. I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, let's keep going. Give me a few closing message spirit to close out this energy. That's it, guys, because I keep going. So we're at the bottom of the deck. We got forgiving, sacred union, honor, and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. They want you to treasure them, treasure this connection here. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. This is what I said. You don't know who your true film is and who you should who you should offer that love to. Now you know, okay? Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Didn't I say you guys feel very unbalanced without each other? You guys are the missing piece here. This was the, you guys balance each other out. Yin and yang. My beloved. Okay, so this is the message that your femme has for you. Okay, masculine. Through, though, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, 
Spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Yeah, because you feel like you're missing a a piece of them, but your film is telling you that we are we are with you in spirit. I am me, not we. I am with you in spirit, okay? Energetically wise, I'll be with you always. I'm sending you my love and light, and I'm going to fill you up. No matter if I'm there in the physical or not, I'm going to send you my love, okay? And now nothing is missing. You know, you don't have to look for the missing pieces, okay? Because energetically wise, nothing is missing. Because 3D is just an illusion, okay? And forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Your life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think and dream and imagine. They want you to practice forgiveness here. And also need to heal, okay? From your dealing with these past energies or anything that um, you're holding on from their connection, okay? All right, so that is the read for today um, for my mask plans. Uh, thumbs me up if this resonated with you. If um, you're in separation from your family, you know what you got to do. Spirit is, is guiding you here. Go within, meditate, you know, clear some energy here and, you know, focus on your healing and growing here. And it will automatically, when things, when things are in alignment in the universe, uh, spirit to block things, okay? So once you become in alignment, and they're in alignment, it will, you guys will come together. It's going to be that constant gravitational pull I was telling you about. And then what happened? You guys going to collide, okay? And it's going to be so beautiful. This brand new beginning, this rebirth, it's going to be so much different than the first time. I'm trying to tell you. It's going to be so fulfilling on both ends. <coughs> okay? Sending you guys love and light. Um, you know, if you want to express your feelings in the comments, do so. I love to talk and connect with you guys. Remember to thumbs me up and to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Sending you guys love and light to all the masses and the films here. If you're on this journey or whatever, are you already in reconciliation with your film mask plan? Congratulations. And also to this film if you're watching, just to watch, okay? To see if this message resonates with you. I'm sending you... Um, love and light too all right so that's it guys you guys have a good night peace out remember to vibrate high where others choose to go low all right guys all right bye-bye